this is the Apogee mic MIC test with the iPad Pro and right now I'm using the iPad Pro internal microphone and I'm going to take the lightning adapter for the mic and plug it in okay so the light is green and this is uh, using just uh, the mic as it is this is um, powered by the iPad so you don't need an external power source you don't need phantom power or anything um, it's a condenser microphone right now I'm monitoring it through uh, headphones uh, you can still do that with the iPad Pro the current model because uh, it has it still has the headphone jack uh, unfortunately you cannot do this with the new iPhone 7 um, which is what I'm recording this video on um, because there's no headphone jack. Now today I'm going to be taking a look at one of the adapters that Apple just came out with uh, which is the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. Uh, so basically what this has is a USB port and then it has a lightning port. What this is good for um, on the iPad Pro is that you can uh, power your iPad while you're recording. So right now when the microphone is plugged in it's draining power but there's no way to power the iPad so your time limit uh, will be greatly reduced. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is um, plug this in okay so this is it right here and just take the mic out okay so I'm unplugging the Apogee mic right now uh, actually, I'm going to plug this in to the iPad. Now, uh, so this is the iPad Pro power adapter, which we'll plug right in here. So, as you can see, now the charging is working perfectly, and uh, you'll have to put on your USB 3 adapter to the mic. So I'll do that real quick. So here's the, um, the adapter for that, which plugs in right like this. And then you plug the USB into here. Which way does it go? There we go. And you can see uh, the microphone just turned back on and we're getting uh, full power. So you can monitor with headphones, you can use your mic and get power. So it's perfect with the iPad Pro and the sound quality is amazing. Um, I have tried to configure this to the uh, iPhone so that you can, you, you would imagine you could use, let's say, um, your headphones to monitor through um, through this cable and I'm gonna try that right now just to show you that it, it doesn't work um, I'm gonna try it with the Bose quiet comfort headphones um, with a lightning adapter so these are the headphones I'm gonna be using um, that comes with this and then you have the uh, lightning dongle on the end of it. So if I unplug this from the power source, plug these headphones in, all right, it says this accessory is not supported by this device. Uh, that's what this notice says right here. You can't really read it um, unless I bring the brightness down. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it's not going to work um, so that is unfortunate however um, I am happy that I can at least power the iPad and I don't have to worry about it running out of juice um, with this adapter also I have tried importing photos um, with uh, the USB adapter this is actually for cameras and you can use this with the card readers. I, I plugged in a card reader for um, 
uh, importing raw files through that and it, it works perfectly so um, it does what it's the adapter does what it says it'll do which is it'll work with cameras uh, just one other thing I wanted to try out which was to use the um, headphone microphone so the QC headphones do come with a built-in mic so you can talk on the phone and I wanted to test that out so I'm gonna uh, unplug the Apogee mic right now and you'll get a listen to what it sounds like with just your headphone microphone so this is what it sounds like with the headphone you can kind of use your headphone mic as a lavalier mic um, in like a worst case scenario and then here's I'm gonna unplug these now and you can um, listen to the iPad headphone one more time alright so this is the iPad built-in microphone test and um, just wanted to give you a quick comparison to see the difference in sound quality so as a side note also uh, I've been recording this whole video in a room in front of my computer that has pretty poor acoustics so just to give you a better idea of what this mic is capable of I have opened up my closet door and placed the mic in front of it uh, the clothes inside the closet uh, will absorb some of the reflected noise from the room also I'm speaking a little bit closer to the mic uh, until now I've been speaking probably I don't know two feet away so if you adjust your gain and um, get close enough to the mic you'll notice that you can also eliminate a lot of the background noise so thanks a lot for watching the video thanks for listening um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will hit you back. Peace out.